Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an ASUS laptop. This one is an ASUS X510Q model and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how you can clean and service your laptop easily at home. And I'm going to go over the tools that you're going to be using and before we start people always ask me if I do a uh, service or clean up am I going to use any configuration or anything like that? Absolutely not, you're not going to touch your system, everything is going to be the same way that you left so this is very safe you can do it at home without doing any configuration afterward and first thing first you want to power up the laptop I'm gonna go over the tools that I'll be using first thing first you need a, a workshop towel I'll recommend you this service towels or worksheet towel one sheet of these ones you will need an alcohol isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol then you need a, your thermal paste. I'll be using an Arctic MX4 thermal paste. It's one of the best thermal paste. If you want to go crazy, you can use a thermal grizzly cry knot, but these are really good. And you need a screwdriver set. For the screwdriver set, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set. These driver sets are made out of S2 class steel. These are really durable. We're going to be using a Phillips number zero, or you can use number one. If you get the pro set of the iFixit screwdriver set, they will include you with an opening tool, tweezers, and a few other stuff. If not, grab yourself and for the opening tool, uh, guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And you will need a curved or straight tweezers. So grab yourself a curved or straight tweezer. With all this on hand, we're going to get it started. Also, you need a toothbrush, a used or new toothbrush. It's really good to have. All right, now on the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws and there are hidden screws too. So there are a few sizes of the screws. I'm gonna go over the sizes that we're gonna use. So first we're gonna remove the obvious ones. There are hidden ones under the back uh, rubber legs right here. So to lift it up, put the opening to under the leg and lift it up. It has a little adhesive to keep it in place. Remove both of the rubber legs. Now the screws on the bottom here, these are the black screws. So remove these black screws from here. Put it to one side. Now the longest screw in here is the one in the back mid. So remove the longest one right here. And put this one in um, a different pile. Now the front in the front row, the corner ones, these are really short screws. And the rest are the one in the middle and the rest on the side on the back. These are the medium screw. This screw is broken, so I can just rotate it. it. won't come up because the base is broken on the other side. So the client dropped it. So we're going to remove this other short screw in here. These are the short ones. And now we're going to start removing all the rest of the screw, except this one for me. I'm not going to remove this because I can't. So go ahead and remove the rest of the screw and keep them in a different pile. These are medium screws. Also, if you guys like my content, if, if you guys want to support the channel you can do that by that clicking that like and support i'll greatly appreciate it we have tremendous support and motivation for me to make more videos take requests and answer your questions in the comment area i appreciate that all right now that we remove all the screws in my case i'm not going to remove this obviously you want to grab your opening tool and you want to stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there just like that and you want to twist it backward and you want to keep doing it until you hit that big click you want to work yourself on the side keep doing that you want to loose up those clips you can do the one on the back in here and do it a little harder and right at the back here you want to stick it close to the bottom here and then you want to twist it do that every few centimeters until you hit that big huge click and you want to work yourself all around once you did the side and the back just grab it from the corner and bring it up and twist wiggle around and it will release my base is broken in here that's why the screw what it holds is in here you can put a little glue in here to hold it in place all right now down here you can see the bottom chassis is really dirty. You can take it outside and clean it up. Use a compressed air. All right, now down here we can see the motherboard and the fan, the cooling system, everything. This one doesn't have a GPU. If yours has a GPU, 
they will have an X clamp right in here, the same way that it is in here. So VRAM chips will be installed in here. You cannot upgrade these ones, obviously. Anyway, first thing first, we're gonna disconnect the battery before we continue removing anything. So disconnect the battery. First thing first, you wanna move this lock towards the left side, just like that, about one millimeters. So let me lock it. So we're gonna push this one just like that to the side. Now, I don't recommend you use a metal to lift this one up, but you can make a shortage. Use a plastic or wood pick. But what I do, I like to put my fingernails on the corners in here and lift it up a little bit from that and same thing from this side. Lift it up and the jack will come up pretty easy. It comes up here, you don't have to pull it back. Once you have disconnected this one, we can proceed with the rest. We're gonna disconnect the fan cable. We don't wanna pull the cables. What we're gonna do, we're gonna put the mm, tweezers on the side or your fingernails on the side in here and wiggle it around and pull it back. All right. Next, we're gonna remove the four screw, the screw on the fan right in here. Put it to one side. There's no screw in here because it holds from the bottom case, it goes in here. Remove the four screws for the heat sink. Next, what you wanna do, you don't wanna yank it from here up, you wanna yank it close to the CPU, so put your fingers right in here, and being on, you're gonna hit that click. That's the thermal paste just getting loose. And the thermal paste is really dry in here, so yeah, so you see on the ventilation is really clogged up. So once we remove the heat sink, we're gonna lift up the fan, bring it up easy, and this side put your finger there, and lift it up. There's a lot of tape in here, remove it. All right, now we're gonna take the fan outside with a toothbrush, we're gonna clean up. We're gonna clean up the dust in here on the cover with a blow some dry air and use toothbrush to clean the hinges. So, and I'll be back once I clean up all this. All right, now that we cleaned up the whole motherboard and the fan, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna clean up the heat sink, remove the old thermal paste, grab a little bit of the Workshop towel, soak it in an alcohol. All right, then what you wanna do, you wanna grab and rub off the old thermal paste from the heat sink. Next, we're gonna clean up the thermal paste on the CPU. And if you have a GPU, clean on your GPU too. Just as long as you clean the die, that's fine. You don't need to go clean up the whole, everything around it. So clean up the die and that should be more than fine. There we go. Use that new towel. We just do a second pass on that one. Pretty much next, what you wanna grab your thermal paste and you wanna apply one tiny line across. Just like that. Next, you wanna put the fan down first. Fan goes down first, put it straight down here. There's a little tiny pinhole, has to put it right in there. Grab the fan cable, put it right through the jack. Push it in. And grab the heat sink. Bring it evenly over the heat sink, over the CPU. And once you put it down, do not lift it up. And you wanna cross it, screw the X clamp in here. So follow the numbers. It says one, two, three, four. Actually, this one is messed up because it says one, three, five, six, because one, two, it was for the GPU. So as long as you cross it, screw them, you're more than fine. So go ahead and cross it, screw them. And the reason for the cross screwing is for spread the thermal paste evenly. So once you cross the screw them, then you wanna put the screw for the fan, one in the corner right over there. Now, once we finish with this one, make sure the lock for the battery is back. Evenly put the battery, insert it down, push down, and push the lock over the jack. And that's it pretty much. All you need to do is to grab the bottom cover that you clean up, Bring it over and set it down straight and push down the corners and make sure you hit those clicks on the mid back and back and in the front. 
And the last thing would be to just put the screws the same way that you remove. The black screws goes under the rubber legs. The long screws goes far back on the front. The short one in the corners. And the medium goes all over the place. I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out. If it did, please click the like and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws.